Hello all, this is John from EastCoastArmory.com. I'm here today with a project update video for this 1-6 scale Scratch Bill Tiger 1. As we can see since the last video, the tank suspension is completed and the wheels have been added. Along with the torsion bars, the wheels have been added to the EastCoastArmory.com product line. The wheels are full function, they rotate smoothly, and the torsion bar system is full functional. When I was designing the wheel system, I wanted to make the wheels as realistic as possible. By doing that, I designed the wheels to all be assembled as if they were on the real one, in that they're all assembled via bolt construction, and there's no glues or any adhesives that hold them together, only the fasteners. The wheels mount to the vehicle via a hidden bolt that's underneath the torsion bar detail cap here. The bolt is on the inside and threads directly into the torsion bar here. Then, with the way the flange system is, the bolt is completely covered up by the bolt phase detailing on the wheel itself. This allows the wheel to be affixed securely to the torsion bar and allows the wheel to spin freely. All of the resting components for the wheels have been created. The only thing that the wheels do not have in these images is the Zerk fitting that goes inside here in the torsion bar. Well, the Zerk fitting is created out of resin and will be added after the model is painted. This is because, as per the Bovington Tiger, over here where this hex indent is, is actually a primer red or a glossy red and the Zerk fitting itself is this copper color or a brass color and I will be replicating that on my model and that's why the Zerk fittings will be added once the tank is painted due to the ease of painting. Here's the underhull before the tank gets its coat of primer and its base coat of Panzer Grey. Over here we can see the resin swing arms. As we can see the torsion bar itself is fully detailed including the mounting screw, the rigidity bulge, as well as the rough cast texture. Swing arms here are made out of solid resin and from my experience is strong enough to hold up the weight of a static tank. One thing as of note, we can see here that the swing arms on this side of the vehicle swing towards the rear of the vehicle while the swing arms on the other side pivot towards the front of the vehicle. This was also present on the real Tiger 1 as well as all the other German torsion bar equipped vehicles such as the Panther and the King Tiger. Also along the lower portion of the hull we can see these fasteners mounted here. On the real vehicle these fasteners would actually be the reverse end of the torsion bar that would be for the other side. On my vehicle, I added these for two purposes. One, as a detail element, and the second, as a mounting platform so that it bolts to the aluminum angle that's on the inside, which supports the torsion bars themselves. And here's the suspension on the inside. As we can see, the system is very simple. Just made up of a couple pieces of aluminum angle iron and aluminum channel, several fasteners, and several extension springs. As I move the torsion bar or the swing arm we can see that the spring will return it to its home location. The system itself is very uh, very affordable and is a very simple system to arrange on just about any torsion bar equipped 1-6 scale tank. Here's the suspension on its own weight. Suspension is not sagging in any way and is fully holding the weight of the model. As we can see, the wheels roll when the model is pushed and roll very smoothly. Testing out the torsion bar suspension. We can see that the wheels articulate to any object that's placed below them. 
This is going to be very beneficial in outdoor dioramas. The wheels do add to the weight of the model. Prior to the installation of the wheels, the hull here and the torsion bar suspension was about 10, maybe 15 pounds. However, with the addition of the wheels, the weight has increased significantly to about 30 to about 40 pounds in this current state. And that weight is pretty much standard for a 1-6 scale tank of this size and type. That concludes this project update video for this 1-6 scale scratch build initial production Tiger 1. Stay tuned for more detail upgrades and more progress. And be sure to check out eastcoastarmory.com for other 1-6 scale tank builds as well as other detail components. Thank you.